thanks for the introduction. We will have a talk on the impact of the blooming ones in Cypher. This is the joint work with NGV. We all come from Chinese academic sciences. And uh, we first uh, give the introduction of uh, our talk, and then we give a description of where we want, and then we present our ideas, some key observations, and uh, the general attack model and the basic attack when C A one is presented after that, and uh, then we improve it to N C A two and N C A three with the VSW sampling and the spectral table techniques, and then we present our simulation results, and finally we give some conclusions. Um, Review one presented by Martin Hale, Thomas Johansson, and Brady Mayer. We just been cyber from the strict hardware environments, and it is uh, selected into the final following by this new project. And uh, Review one is immune to the correlation and the distinguish attacks that successfully broken the former version of zero. And uh, the Kanyer, a central, discovered a slight property in the initialization phase of Review one. Uh, it can reduce half of the cost of exhaustive search for a fixed enemy. Uh, and based on this slide property, a range key to the enemy attack has also been proposed by Lee and Central. Mm, in this family, there is also another cipher, Green 1 128. Uh, it is designed in a similar way, but it is with low every work feedback function. Uh, this uh, results in a dynamic attack on the full initiated grounds by the nerves and central. And, uh, to frustrate the dynamic to attack a uh, new variant, a uh, group 128A uh, with optional authentication function was proposed by Andrew, etc. And now we look at the description of query 1. Uh, this is a uh, history generation phase. There are two registers in the uh, group 1. One linear prefactory register, one nonlinear prefactory register, and there is also a nonlinear user function uh, at each stage. Uh, the linear prefactory is updated independently, but it's all, it acts all with the uh, uh, feedback function of the nonlinear prefactory register, and then the contents are combined by a nonlinear user function, which is a correlation union of the first order, <coughs> and uh, the output of this function is acts all with seven bits from the Non-linear feedback register to produce the distribution bit, and then this is the uh, initialization phase. Actually, our attack has no uh, relation with uh, this phase, so we can assume that if a perfect uh, key and every initialization phase is adopted, that is the slight property does not exist anymore, and uh, <coughs> the non-linear feedback function is uh, balanced and the uh, correlation new of first order, and it is defined as this. The output function of group 1 is uh, defined as here, and uh, it is the XOR of the output of the nonlinear function, and the 7 bits directly from the nonlinear feedback register. This 7 bits makes the linear analysis very difficult. And uh, now we present our <coughs> here and some key observations. Mm. We propose the uh, we have a cover tag called near clear tag on green one. Our tag utilizes the contact non-linear feedback register and the linear feedback command structure of green one. And uh, we, our idea is to combine the internal state different uh, near clear states and different time instance and restore states uh, accordingly. <coughs> we observe that the non-linear feedback register and the linear feedback register are flanced exactly <coughs> every bit the same as the key lens and with no redundance and the linear feedback is updates uh, independently in the key string direction phase. Also we observe that the linear feedback register series can be easily recovered <coughs> with the internal state difference and two different time instances. The third of the thing is that the distribution of the key string segment difference is not uniform given a low hanging weight given a low hanging weight internal <coughs> state difference. And uh, we propose three tags. The basic one is NCA1, and the NCA2 is combined with the uh, DSW7. And the NCA3 is based on NCA2, and it is uh, utilizes the non uniform distribution of the internal state difference for fixed key string difference. And now we look at some preliminaries. We define two n bit strings, S and S prime, are D near collision if their X all has a hanging weight lower than or equal to D. Similar to the birthday paradox, which states that two random sets of 
subsets of a space space to two n elements are expected to intersect, but the product of their sets exists to two n. We present the formula of linear Euclidean, that is, given two random sets of um, subsets of A and B of a space of two to n elements, then there exists a pair A B with A belongs to A and B belongs to B, that is a um, linear equilibrium if this equation is satisfied here. B and D is the total number of internal state difference with panning weight lower than or equal to D. Now we look at the first observation, that is a state recovery with non-state difference. Uh, we assume that at time t1 and time t2, we know the RFSR state, in, uh, RF, RF, RF star state difference, and we define the earlier state uh, as this and the later state as here. Then it is easy to see that the late state can be uh, represented by a linear system of the earlier state. And uh, combined with the state difference, we can derive another linear system. So, from this system, it is easy to see that we can easily recover the early uh, internal state from so, for, by solving this internal state, uh, by solving this linear system, the content is very low. After recovering the linear feedback sheet register state, we need to recover the nonlinear one. Uh, at current time, we use some equation uh, solver to uh, using magma to solve the nonlinear feedback register. And we estimate the intensity uh, in her, um, experimentally, but actually we have some improvements recently, and uh, it can reduce the intensity by a better order to none. And we will provide, uh, pro we will pro pro provide the details in the upcoming papers. Currently, the time intensity of for recovering the nonlinear feedback register is two to twenty point three separate hits. And. Uh, the second uh, observation is that uh, the distribution of keystream uh, second differences we obtain as KSDs is best given us best specific internal state difference differential. Uh, here is an example if we have the D equals to 4 and the, the truncated uh, keystream equals to 16, we have a very highly balanced uh, distribution for the KSDs. And uh, the, our results also shows that there exists some impossible differ uh, differences for uh, most of the DL pairs. <coughs> uh, the third observation is that the intensity of a brute force attack is scared than to two eighty seven things, and uh, such attack can only be mounted for each fixed family. Uh, precisely for each enumerated PI, its I reach from one to two uh, to two, uh, eighteen minus one. The attacker uh, first needs to proceed the initial interface, which is uh, which needs 116 ticks. Uh, if each keystream bit is treated as a random variable, then for each ki, the probability that the attacker needs to generate uh, l, uh, this keystream is as this. For l equals to one, it is one. For l uh, is larger than one, it is uh, two to um, minus minus l minus one. So. Based on this, we can see that the expected number of uh, keystream bits that needed to generate for each enumerated key is as this, it is uh, approximately 4. So the total complexity for the brute force attack is estimated at 2 to uh, 87.4 separate hits. Now we look at our general attack model and the basic attack NC1. Uh, in this attack, we want to identify the correct linear collision ISD. And uh, there are two stages here. In the offline stage, we uh, pre-compute some well-structured differential tables. And the table structure can be illustrated as follows. Each table is indexed with a KSD. And uh, in each table, there are many rows. Uh, in each row, there is the, uh, the ISD and the uh, corresponding proportions. And uh, every table is constructed in this way. Uh, we denote the total number of tables uh, uh, by Q and DL and the average number of rows in each table by R and the L. Then, due to the non-uniform distribution of the KSDs for fixed the ISD, we only consider at most 100 KSDs with proportions, whose proportions are the, most, uh, the first 100 largest among all the KSDs. Hence, R and the L is upper bounded by this value. Uh, now we look at the online state. 
um, we want to obtain the ISD by utilizing the pre-computed differential tables and the trophic key stream. Uh, the first step, we randomly collect two key stream segments size A and B satisfy this uh, near first day parallax equation. And then we solve these two sides with respect to the value of the first LBs and dividing them into <coughs> n different groups G1A to GMA and G1B to G, uh, GMB, respectively. We identify the internal state candidate uh, state pair that is D near clear. Two strategies here. The first strategy we <coughs> use the candidate PSDs to back out one of the lists and the find the match between the candidates <coughs> and the other list. The other strategy is to make first XO this to list and get a candidate KSD list and find the match between the stock KSD list. The four steps is to figure out the single clearance and the find the real SD by utilizing the position one. Here by pseudo collision we mean that the internal state difference is uh, not actually linear collision, but the corresponding KSD is matched uh, is, is formed in the previous step. Uh, now we look at the complexity. The pre-computation pre -computation time is as this. It's very obvious. It's straightforward computation. And the data complexity is uh, the two sides. The size of the two, uh, the size of A and the plus size of B and L height Stream segments and memory complexity is at here. So this is the complexity for sorting these two sides. And here we divide it by omega, uh, by omega because we convert the complexity only to the separate x. <coughs> and this is the complexity uh, for the second step. This is the complexity for the finding the, uh, for testing the uh, two clearance. Here we have the attack complexity with various truncated L. <coughs> it is shown in this table. We mean this basic attack as NC is 1. So the pre-computing complexity is about uh, 2 to 95.7, which exceeds the brute force attack complexity 2 to 87.4. Now we want to improve this attack. The first improvement <coughs> is uh, to combine the similar resistance of a green with NC1. So, um, it is easy to see that given the value of 139 particular state bits of green, and the first uh, 21 constraint bits produced from this state, another 21 internal states can be deduced directly. <coughs> we provide the uh, detailed proof in the uh, appendix of our paper. Uh, the only thing for, from the BSW is that the searching space is not reduced to the spectral, state, spectral subset of the internal states. Now the goal is to recover the 139 bits ISD and then instead of the 160 bits ISD. We need to collect those key stream segments in the prefix uh, with the prefix pattern uh, 0 to uh, 21, that is uh, 21 zeros. And the data complexity is multiplied by uh, 2221. This is a type complexity with various truncated uh, key stream segment lengths. And based on BSW7 rating, uh, we can see uh, here we use threading 2 in our step 3. Uh, we can see that compared to NCA1, the improved attack reduced the pre computation complexity by a factor of not. Uh, 2 to 12.3 and uh, it saves about 10 bit storage for each entry in A and B. All the <coughs> intensities here are under the brute force attack intensity 2 to uh, 87.4. Uh, we underline this uh, improved attack as NCA2. Now we look at the second improvement. Uh, it is uh, based on NCA2 and by utilizing the non uniform distribution of KSDs among all the tables. Here we make some observations. This is uh, some extreme uh, examples. Uh, we look at that some tables that with uh, low humming weight index uh, contains more rows than those that uh, other tables with uh, higher humming weight index. And the first table index with zero contains the most rows among all the tables. Most tables uh, that like uh, this that with uh, much higher humming weight index 
only contains a single row in their table. And the tables with low hanging weight uh, index satisfying this equation, that is the uh, hanging weight of the KSD is uh, like sign to three. We call stack tables special tables, contain about 18% uh, of all the BND different ISDs. Here we make an assumption that on average, the special tables can cover 50% of all the BND star D different, different ISDs when DL becomes larger. This assumption indicates that in the offline stage, we can only need to uh, construct this, uh, those special tables. Now we look at the contested analysis of this attack. Uh, every contested remains the same except the second step here. And the exact contestity on green with various error based on special tables is shown here. We can see that we obtain a type with the time contestity uh, to, to 73.1 and the uh, memory complexity 2262.8 and the data complexity 2267.8 with the pre-computing complexity 2273.1 uh, we name this in host tag as NCA3 and now we present our simulation results on the reduced version of green uh, we look at the reduced, uh, reduced version of green with one cipher consists of a linear feedback chip register of 32 bits and the non-linear bit feedback register of 30, 30, 32 bits. The update functions of the linear feedback register and the non-linear bit are designed in a similar way as the full version. This is the linear feedback register update function, and this is the non-linear update function. Uh, we can see that we uh, also use the linear one to balance the internal state of the non-linear one. The output function is defined here, and the filter function is the same as, the, as that in the original design. And here we choose a subset of uh, bits from the nonlinear feedback register with a cardinality of 4. Uh, we can see that uh, the similar resistance of this reduced version of Groovy 1 has uh, 2 to minus 11. <coughs> And uh, we now we first uh, verify our assumption one, that we randomly choose uh, 10 to 4 SDs with timing rate D equals uh, less than or equals to 4, and generate their corresponding KSDs with the proportions. Then for each KSD, any random internal states were generated to determine the projections from SD to KSD. Only those KSDs satisfying this uh, relation will be recorded and their corresponding SDs will be stored in a text file in the, uh, with the corresponding KSD. Similar to the process of the offline stage, we only consider at most eta KSDs whose proportions are the first eta largest among all the KSDs. Finally, uh, we count the number uh, of the number of uh, different ISDs in those uh, special tables. Uh, this is our verifi uh, verification result. You can see that uh, this matches the theory quite well. And uh, in the offline state, we set uh, eta equals to 15, and the sample size equals to 2 to 12, and the handling weight equals to 4. Then we have a tag here. This is the theoretical condensity. And uh, we present our pre-computation time, uh, the actual pre-computation time of NCA2 and NCA3 <coughs> in this table. Uh, this is the number of tables, this is the memory, this is the time we use. Uh, in, our time, in our simulation, we apply NCA2 and NCA3 to the reduced version of green, respectively, for 114 randomly generated TIV pairs. The simulation results on the reduced version of green is as here. This is the average attack time, and this is the success probability. This uh, experiment time is based on uh, running our non-optimized C++ program on a CPU with this configuration. Uh, the success probability is the proportion of the number of the correct internal state difference stored in the KSD tables. Uh, we can see from the experiment that the success probability of our attack needs to be stabilized. Uh, our attack need to be refined further, and we indeed get some improvements by reducing the complexity of recurring the nonlinear feedback register given the linear feedback register and the state difference. Uh, we will provide the details in the upcoming papers. 
Uh, we can also see that the experiment experiment successful probability of NC2 is lower than SMD in theory. But the reason we think is that we choose a restricted value of eta and n. These two parameters directly influence the size and the number of uh, pre computed tables, and hence affect the success probability. Uh, we think that how to theoretically derive the a relationship between the success probability and these two parameters is our future work. Now we give some concurrence. Uh, in our paper, we presented a key recovery talk in the single key model that uh, called near clear attack on Green one. Uh, based on some key observations, we have presented the basic attack NC1 and further enhance it to NC2 and NC3 by combining the sampling resistance of Green one and the non-uniform distribution of the TSD tables as respectively. Uh, our attack has been verified on a reduced portion of group 1 and the uh, explanation of the results in a linear way indicates an attack on the full version of group 1 with capacity as mentioned before. Uh, this, uh, in our paper, we make, we make a second assumption that is, uh, our explanation is based on a linear one. And, uh, we think that our attack is just a second point for further analysis of green like stream ciphers. And hopefully it will provide some new insights on such design of such compact stream ciphers. Uh, thank you. Okay, next question. And then maybe I have one. Um, so this assumption too that you mentioned at the end. Yes. Could you think of a way to verify this one as well, the extrapolation? Um, actually, yeah, it's not so easy to verify the assumption too, uh, because, uh, because if we reduce the size of the internal state uh, further, and then we may get some uh, curve. But actually, we think that the, the slide of the curve is uh, dominated by the last point of the curve and the our target sign. So we explore it in a linear way. Need to define a reduced version that is a little bit bigger. Okay, yeah, 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 that is maybe more accurate. Thank you. Any more questions? Yeah. Let's thank Changbin and all the other speakers of the session.